Well, after a few years, I decided to go to the US at Columbia University to pursue my postgraduate studies and then started my own media company, which was unthought of you know, during the years that I started my career. So we do a lot of things. I've uh, interviewed more than 1,000 people in the past. And sometimes I have young people approaching me say, you know, Lan, you changed my life. And I feel proud of that. But then we're also so fortunate to witness the, the transformation of the whole country. I was in the Beijing's bidding for Olympic Games. Uh, I was representing Shanghai Expo. I saw China embracing the world and vice versa. But then sometimes I'm thinking, you know, what are today's young generation up to? How are they different? And what the differences they are going to make to shape the future of China or at large the world? So today I want to talk about young people through the platform of social media. First of all, who are they? How do they look like? Well, this is a girl called Guo Mei Mei, 20 years old, beautiful. She showed off her expensive bags, clothes, and car on her microblog, which is the Chinese version of Twitter. And she claimed to be the general manager of Red Cross at the Chamber of Commerce. She didn't realize that she stepped on a sensitive nerve and aroused national questioning, almost a turmoil, against the credibility of Red Cross. <laughs> the controversy was so heated uh, that the Red Cross had to open a press conference to clarify it, and the investigation is going on. So far, uh, as to today, we know that she herself made up that title probably because she feels proud to be associated with charity. All those expensive items were given to her as gifts uh, by her boyfriend, who used to be a board member in the subdivision of Red Cross at Chamber of Commerce. It's very complicated to explain. But anyway, the public still don't buy it. It is still boiling. It shows us a general mistrust of government or government-backed institutions which lack transparency in the past. And also it showed us the power and the impact of social media as microblog. Microblog boomed in the year of 2010, with visitors doubled and time spent on it tripled. Sina.com, a major news portal alone, has more than 140 million microbloggers. On Quentin, 200 million. The most popular blogger, it's not me, <laughs> it's a movie star, and she has more than 9.5 million followers or fans. About 80% of those microbloggers are young people under 30 years old. And because, as you know, the traditional media is still heavily controlled by the government, so social media offers an opening to let the steam out a little bit. But because you don't have many other openings, so the heat coming out of this opening is sometimes very strong, active, and even violent. So through microblogging, we are able to understand Chinese youth even better. So how are they different? First of all, most of them were born in the 80s and 90s under the one-child policy. And because of selected abortion by families who favored boys to girls, now we are ended up with 30 million more young men than women. That could pose a potential uh, danger to the society, but who knows, we're in a globalized world, so they can look for girlfriends from other countries. Most of them have fairly good education. The illiteracy rate in China among this generation is under 1%. In the cities, 80% of kids go to college. But they are facing an aging China with a population above 65 years old, coming up with 7 point some percent this year and about to be 15% by the year of 2030. And you know we have the tradition that younger generations support the elders financially and taking care of them when they are sick. So it means young couples will have to support four parents uh, who have the life expectancy as to 73 years old. So making a living is not that easy for young people. College graduates are not in short supply. In urban areas, college graduates find the starting salary is about 400 US dollars a month, while the average rent is above 500 dollars. 
So what they do, they have to share space, and squeeze in, in very li limited space to save money. And they call themselves tribe of ants. 